Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in. Allahümme enfa'ni bima allamteni ve allimni bima yunfa'ni ve zidni ilmen nekel alimul hakim. My topic today is about short talk of uh, acute colonic diverticulitis the imaging appearance and we concentrate on the CT scan and some of the fluoroscopic images and also try to use the modification how to manage the patient according to the finding of the CT scan. Acute colonic diverticulitis is one of the presentation of the diverticular disease and is most often a complication of colonic diverticulosis. And uncomplicated diverticulosis is mostly asymptomatic and acute diverticulitis is a potentially life-threatening illness. Imaging, CT the, is the modality of choice for diagnosis and the staging of the diverticulitis. Dedicated ultrasound may be able to confidently characterize the condition and it is used also for percutaneous drainage. Also sometimes a fluoroscopy used in the old era. Here, this is the single contrast barium enema study to demonstrate mild sigmoid diverticulitis with thickening of the mucosal folds and lumen, lumen narrowing in this barium enema, single contrast barium enema. Here, another patient with single contrast also barium enema study in patient with diverticulosis. As we here see multiple diverticuli in the sigmoid and the descending colon, and here we see filling of the contrast material in the intramural abscess. Here, also, single contrast barium enema demonstrate diverticulitis with diverticulosis, and here also we see a fistular tract between the colon and the small bowel. Here, another patient with single contrast barium enema demonstrate sigmoid diverticulitis with colovasical fistula, and we see here the urinary bladder is filled with contrast during the study, indicating fistula tract in it. Here, another patient with single contrast barium enema, we see multiple diverticuli involving the whole colon and the diverticulitis here, and also filling the urinary bladder indicating colovasical fistula. What are the CT appearance on, of acute colonic diverticulitis? Diverticulitis has a, a sensitivity of 43 and a specificity of 100%. Intestinal wall thickening has a sensitivity of 96 and a specificity of 91%. Signs of inflammation in the pericolonic fat and thickening of the lateral coronal fascia also has good specificity. Signs of intestinal perforation also one of the manifestation of the CT and pericolonic or distance abscesses 
also seen in the diverticulitis, fistula, and vascular engorgement of the comb sign, which has a sensitivity of 29% and increasing to 59% if associated with the fluid, and the specificity about 100%. Here are some examples of CT scan. Here we have CT scan demonstrating mild diverticulitis of the descending colon. We see here the diverticulate and with thick wall and mild stranding on the pericolic fat. Here another patient with diverticulitis and we see here inflamed diverticulae and also thickening of the colonic wall and some pericolonic fat increase attenuation due to stranding, especially here. Here, this is another patient with diverticulitis involving the sigmoid colon with the strands and also thickening of the wall and involving also the sigmoid mesentery in that area. Here, patient with signs of inflammation of the pericolonic fat with intravenous and erector contrast and see thickening of the colon with pericolonic fat and multiple diverticulae will shows also wall thickening. Here we see diverticulae with colonic wall thickening in this contrast enhanced coronal CT scan and a multiple diverticulae and the stranding of the pericolonic fat. Here, another patient with the pericolonic uh, abscess in this contrast-enhanced CT scan. The fluid collection is surrounded by hyperintense area and halo with abscess formation involving the anterior abdominal wall. And here the same patient also has distal abscess in, in the liver. Here another patient with uh, multiple fistula indicating complication of diverticular disease. Here has the rectum and here the vagina and the vagina it is filled with the contrast with gas bubble indicating a fistula between the colon and the vagina. and the fistula. Here we will discuss the modified Hinchy classification and it is consist of five different categories. Whenever and abscess uh, are differentiated depend on the location between the bureaucratic and distance distant abscesses. The initial goal of this modification was to discriminate between patients amenable to percutaneous drainage and those who are required surgery. In stage zero, it is non-complicated acute, div acute colonic diverticulitis. There is thickening of the wall more than four millimeter with possible pericolor fat stranding without perforation, abscess or phlegmon or fistula or bleeding, and usually managed with antibiotic to antibiotic uh, on an outpatient basis. 
Stage one, the disease is located immediately adjacent to the colon wall and has two categories. Stage 1A shows marked pericolonic uh, fat infiltration without any fluid collection, and fat infiltration appear, looks like a mass like appearance without de demonstrable of a cavity. In stage 1B, it is complicated by abscess. May contain liquid, gas, or both. As we see here, stage 1A, acute colonic diverticulitis in this patient, and we see that patient has uh, colonic wall thickening and phlegmon, and it is amenable for treatment medically. Here, this patient with the stage Henchy stage 1B, acute diverticulitis, presented with pain and fever. And here we see colonic wall thickening and the stranding and a fluid collection here. And it is treated medically with intravenous antibiotic in this patient. Stage 2, acute co colonic diverticulitis with abdominal or vitroperitoneal abscesses distant from the colon, outside, out of the mesocolon, associated in fistula in 14% of cases, abscess is more frequently educated in the pelvis, and fistula predominantly coloreal, colovaginal, and colovesical. And distance abscess is mainly located in the liver, and 30% of surgically proven fistula diagnosed by CT scan. And this patient, hence Hinchy type 2 colonic diverticulitis with uh, fever and abdominal pain and bul bulbable mass. And we see in this patient abscess measuring about 5.5 centimeter involving the anterior abdominal wall associated with satellite small abscesses, and it is amenable for percutaneous drainage, as we see here in the second image, and the abscess is collapsed. Stage 3, acute colonic diverticulitis with virulent peritonitis, and CT scan is very helpful in the diagnosis in about 83% of, percent of cases, and multi-detector CT is very sensitive for depicting peritoneal effusion and enhancement of the peritoneal peritoneum after intravenous contrast administration. And also helpful in diagnosis of a pneumoperitoneum. And we see here in this patient with diverticulitis with fever and the CT scan after administration of uh, contrast material shows uh, pelvic floor effusion. And here, this is the effusion and thickening with extra intestinal gas, as we see here. Also, the patient has emergency colectomy with, with direct anastomosis. A stage for modified hinge classification correspond to generalized focal peritonitis associated 
generalized fecal peritonitis associated with fecal material in the peritoneal cavity. And sometimes if we cannot see the feces, it is difficult to differentiate the stage four from stage three by CT scan. Here in this patient, we have a patient with acute colonic diverticulitis with abdominal vein and fever. And we see patient in the axial coronal and axial cut after contrast material perforation and peritoneal fluid, as we see here, and fecal material, extra colonic fecal material, as we see here and there, and pneumoperitoneum in this patient. And the patient is treated with uh, emergency colectomy with Hartman procedure. Here, this is uh, summarized for the modified Hengi classification. Stage 1A confined to bericolic area, stage 1B confined to bericolic area with abscess. A without abscess, stage two, either with pelvic or distant abscesses. Stage three, generalized virulent peritonitis, stage four, fecal peritonitis. Thank you for listening. And hoping to see you soon in another talk.